Tanks and ground water Tanks are used for irrigation purpose. For 4000 years, our ancestors have tried to use runoff rainwater by building tanks. Tanks are used for agriculture from the times of the megaliths. Emperors and kings also built a large number of tanks. How were the tanks built? The tanks were usually built by building a strong wall of stones and mud across a small stream in such a way that with a wall on just one side a large lake could be formed. Villages contributed for the expanses, maintenance, repairing the tank bun or removing silt from the tank bed. A person is appointed to regulate the use of a water from the tank. How did the tanks help? Tanks help us for drinking water, animals drinking water, irrigation purpose helps in increasing the groundwater level in the wells nearby. Tanks helps us to prevent the runoff rainwater and the erosion of topsoils. Tanks silt can be used as a fertilizer to the soil. Decline of tanks in our times. People started occupying the tank lands for building houses or for agriculture. People are throwing the wastages into the tanks as they are filled with the waste deposits. The storage of water capacity is decreasing. Find out from where the water comes into the tank and where the excess water goes to. Tanks and Groundwater Groundwater Rainwater not only flows down the streams or rivers but also slowly goes down into the soil. This water accumulates below the ground in the gaps between rocks, pebbles, sand, etc. Rocks which have cracks or pores in them and can contain water are called pervious rocks. Groundwater usually accumulates above such rocks. Since the winter water cannot go beneath them, these are called impervious rocks. The layer of water which accumulate under the ground among rocks is called aquifer. Rocks and Groundwater in Andhra Pradesh Andhra Pradesh consists of granites which are hard and impervious. Predominant rocks are not granites. In these rocks, water is usually available between 3 to 15 meters below the ground level. Wells are therefore dug up to 1616 meters deep. Recharging Groundwater Grasses are planted on the hill slopes from where a stream starts and small check dams are also built across streams to store water for a longer time. All this helps to increase or recharge groundwater. The amount of water is the percolates into the soil has also declined due to the cutting down of forests. Water flows into the streams and into rivers. The flow into the streams and water to be checked by vegetation or ponds, there would be a greater possibility of the water percolating into the soil to join the groundwater. Measures Trees and grasses are planted on hill slopes from where a stream starts and small buns are built across streams to stop the flow of water. Check dams to be built to store water for a longer period. These methods help to increase or recharge groundwater. Quality of groundwater 
ground water is usually mixed with many minerals minerals come from the rocks and soils underneath minerals when mixed with water the taste and nature of water changes in many mandals excess quantity of certain minerals like sodium fluoride chloride iron nitrate etc Water is polluted due to the excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides or poor drainage. Use of groundwater. Digging of more bore wells will cause for the reducing of groundwater level. Unless we use the groundwater as a common resource and in a restrained manner, we cannot preserve the water for the future generations. We should also develop ways of using and conserving water in a restrained manner. Otherwise, future generations will fight destructive wars over water and we will be responsible for it.